for cuteness and inspiration right now. <laughs> yeah. The Walk to Cure Arthritis is coming up next weekend, scheduled for May 19th at North Ponds Park in Webster. And we're joined this morning by uh, Haley Rebert and her mom, Nicole Savage, part of Team Haley. Did I say it right? We practiced her Thriver. last name. <laughs> once they say don't say it like this, then I go and screw it up. I apologize. But either way, welcome. Yeah, good welcome, morning. Welcome, welcome. I, and you brought a friend. Who's your friend? What's his name? Raya. Raya. This hour, a teddy bear's Raya. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, welcome. Do, do you like this TV studio? Yeah. Yeah, she said she was excited to be here. Yes. Are we going to talk about a walk you're doing? Mm-hmm. Do you know what that walk is, is for? No. What is the walk for? Why are we doing your walk? Are we raising money for arthritis? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A very important cause, Mom. It is. Um, to your family and for uh, Haley, tell us where her story began. So when Haley was 18 months old, she just randomly woke up one day and she couldn't walk. Um, she had no other signs. Um, so after a week long of doctor visits, we saw some specialists and we ended up getting admitted to the hospital and that's ultimately where her diagnosis came from. They had cut her ankle open to drain it out and they kind of ruled out everything else. Um, and she was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. There's many different kinds. Um, her specific kind is, um, polyarticular juvenile idiopathic arthritis, which means there's five or more joints affected. Mm -hmm. Now, when you heard arthritis, were you like, wait a minute, this yeah, is I had something no idea. that happens when you're much yeah. older? Like, yeah. what? I had no clue, but um, it's an autoimmune disease, and actually one in 300,000, or no, I'm sorry, 300,000 kids in the United States are affected, mm -hmm. and one in every 250. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. That's more than I would think. Yes. And how would this impact her life as she grows older? So, um, we don't really know. Um, it's just kind of going to be a see what happens kind of thing. Um, right now, she's in medicated remission. Do you have any pain today? No. No pain? Yay. When you have pain, where does it hurt? Your knees. Your knees. Um, but she's in medicated remission right now. Um, so we're coming up on two years of no flares. So fingers crossed. Um, and we're hoping to eventually be able to get her off of her medication. Yeah. Wow. Well, knowing that there's medication to go to when this happens, I imagine, you know, the walk is all about research, right? Yeah. And helping folks um, have this diagnosis. And, and the adults, absolutely. too, that the folks maybe traditionally think of having arthritis as well. Yeah. So all of the money from um, the fundraising goes to research, advocacy. Um, they do JA camps for the kiddos. So every summer they throw camps together. So they use the money for that. Um, and just kind of looking for new medications to help them. So the event is uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And can people still sign up to participate? Yes. If you just go to um, walktocarearthritis.org um, and just search for the Rochester location, you can register. You can join a team. We're Team Haley, and we would love to have more people walk with us. Um, you can create your own team. If you have someone who is living with arthritis, not just kids, this event is for anyone who lives with arthritis or has a family member with arthritis, um, you can create your own team and do some fundraising on your own as well. Yeah. Well, Haley, we're so happy to hear that you're doing well, and we wish you the best. Can can we, all of us, including your teddy bear, wave goodbye to the folks at home watching? Can, can we, we wave, wave that together? together? Make the teddy bear wave, too. Wave to the there camera. There we go. <laughs> yes. Good Thank job, you for sharing you your guys. Story See you at the walk, may I?